Jessa. I'm glad you reached for support. How can I assist you today? Thank you. Um, I've been struggling a lot lately about my self-esteem. It feels like I can never measure up. It's affecting my daily life. I understand. It takes courage to recognize and address this feeling. Let's work together to improve your self-esteem. First, let's explore the root causes. Have been any significant experiences or relationship that you have been impact on how you perceive yourself? Well, growing up, I was often compared to my siblings and it felt like I was always falling short. It made my doubt my work. understandable how comparison may have influenced your self-esteem but remember you have unique and deserving of self-image one effective strategy is affirmation have you ever tried using positive statement to counter negative self-talk no i haven't how affirmation help affirmation are empowering declaration that challenges negative belief repeat positive statement daily such as i am capable I am worthy of love and respect, or I appreciated my strength. Over time, they can reshape your self-perspection. It sounds helpful. I give it a try. Great! Additionally, embracing self-care activity can boost your self-esteem. Engaging in hobby or exercises you can enjoy. Taking time for relaxation and practicing self-compassion are essential. Remember, Self-care is not selfish, it nourishes your overall well-being. That, that makes sense. I should prioritize taking care of myself. Definitely. Now, let's discuss setting realistic goals. Breaking down larger into a smaller. Achievable step help build confidence gradually. Celebrate each milestone along the way. And remember, setbacks are normal. They don't define you. I often get discouraged by setbacks, so this advice is valuable. I'm glad to hear that. Lastly, consider seeking a support network. Surround yourself with people who uplift and appreciate you. Joining a support group or talking to loved ones can improve invaluable encouragement during your journey. I reach out to my family and friend for support. I'm grateful for your guidance too. You're most welcome. Remember, building a self-esteem is a process, and it takes time. Be patient and kind to yourself throughout this journey. I believe in your ability to cultivate a positive self-esteem. Together, we will work towards your goal and a healthier, more confident you. Joy! Bilan mo nga ako ng Yossi doon? Teka lang muna, may ginagawa pa ako. Hmm. Pag sinabi kong bumili ka, bumili ka. Nakita mo naman, di ba? May ginagawa pa ako. Aba, sumasagot. Joy, thank you for coming today. It takes great courage to seek help. Tell me, what brings you here? Look, Cha, my husband, he's abusive, physically and emotionally. I don't know what to do anymore. I'm really sorry to hear that, Joy. Your safety is important. Let's talk about your options and find a path forward. Have you considered reaching out to any support networks or organizations? Yes, I confided in a close friend. She mentioned about local shelter for abused women, but... I feel so trapped, scared to leave. Remember, Joy, you are not alone in this. It's cruel to have a support system. Let's focus on building your strength and exploring coping strategy. Have you thought about creating a safety plan? 
I've started collecting important documents and keeping an emergency bag with it, but I still fear his reaction if he finds out. Safety planning is an essential step, Joy. We can work together to ensure your well-being. Let's also discuss the legal aspects on how we can document an incidents for your protections. Do you think therapy can help me heal and regain my self-worth? Absolutely, Joy. Therapy can provide safety space for you to process your emotions, rebuild your self-esteem, and develop healthy boundaries. It will take time, but you are stronger than you think. I want to be free from this cycle, Dr. Cha. I want to live a life where I am not constantly afraid. It's a powerful realization, Joy. Together, we will navigate this journey towards healing and empowerment. Remember, you deserve life free from abuse. Good day, Mark. Welcome to our counseling session. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling frustrated, angry, and helpless. My anger is getting out of control, and it's affecting my relationship and daily life. I understand. Anger can be difficult to man manage, but you've been taking first step by seeking help. Together, we can work on tools and strategies to help you control your anger. What are some situations that trigger your anger? It's usually when I feel misunderstood and disrespected. I tend to explore and say things I regret later. Recognizing your trigger is an important step. Let's focus on some techniques to help you manage your anger more effectively. One technique is deep breathing exercises. When you feel anger rising, take a moment to breathe deeply. Focus on your breath and allowing yourself to calm down. Another technique is to practice positive self-talk, reminding yourself of your goals and the importance of maintaining healthy relationship. That sounds helpful. I try to incorporate those techniques into my daily life. Great! Additionally, it might be beneficial to explore the root causes of your anger, understand the underlying emotions and experiences that contribute to your anger can help identify healthier coping strategies. We can work together to develop a personalized anger management plan that suits your needs. I'm willing to do whatever it takes to control my anger and improve my relationships. Thank you for your guidance. You're welcome. Remember, change takes time and effort. I'll be here to support you every step of the way. Let's start the journey towards a healthier and happier you. Ayoko pa sa ganyan. Ipalaglag natin yan. Ayoko pa talaga. Ayoko pa maging batang ama. Mariel, I'm here to listen and support you. I understand you're going through a difficult time. How are you feeling today? I don't know where to begin, Dr. Cha. I'm overwhelmed. I'll be in this situation. I'm pregnant and my boyfriend doesn't want the baby. I feel lost and depressed. I understand how challenging this must be for you, Marielle. It's completely normal to have mixed emotions. Tell me more about what you're experiencing right now. I feel scared and alone. The thought of going through this pregnancy without my boyfriend's support is breaking me. I had so many dreams for my future, and now it feels like everything is falling apart. Marielle, 
I want you to know that you're not alone in this journey. Together, we can explore a different perspective and find strength within you. It's, Im it's important to remember that you have options. I'm just not sure what to do. I feel like I'm drowning in uncertainty. How can I make a right decision? It's okay to feel uncertain, Marielle. Let's take this step by step. First, we need to focus on your emotional well-being. Depression can make decision-making even more challenging. You can work on developing coping strategies and exploring healthy outlets for your emotions. I really want to find a way to overcome this depression. I want to be able to move forward even if it's without my boyfriend's support. That's a courageous mindset, Marielle. Remember, your worth is not tied in into someone else. Together, we can build reliance, enhance your self-esteem, and help you see your strength beyond your situation. Thank you, Dr. Cha. I appreciate your guidance and support. It gives me a glimmer of hope. You're welcome, Marielle. Hope it is powerful force. As we continue our session, we also explore resources available to assist you in making informed decisions regarding on your pregnancy. There are support networks and professionals who can help you navigate this challenging time. I'm ready to take back control of my life and embrace hope. I want to explore all my options and make the best decision for myself and my future. It's the spirit, Marielle. Together, we will work towards healing and empowerment. You are not alone in this journey. I am here to support you every step of the way. Thank you all for being here today. I understand that each of you have been dealing with alcohol addiction and party habits. Let's begin by sharing your experiences and feelings. Josh, would you like to start? Well, I started going to parties to fit in, but now it feels like I can have fun without drinking. It's affect my grades and relationship. Thank you for sharing, Josh. Emma, how about you? I've lost control. It started so way to escape my problems. But now, I'm worried about my health and my future. I can't seem to stop. It takes courage to acknowledge that, Emma. Lucas, what about you? I don't think it's a big deal. Everyone parties and I just want to have a good time. Why does it matter? Lucas, it's important to consider the consequences of our action. Lastly, Alex, what are, you, what are your perspectives? I never thought it would get this bad. I want to change, but I don't know how. It's affecting my mental health too. Thank you all for sharing your stories. I want you to know that you are not alone in this journey. Together, we can work towards breaking the cycle of addiction. I have resources and strategies that can help you each to regain control of your life. It won't be easy, but with your determination, support, and guidance, you can overcome this challenge. I encourage addiction. It contains valuable insight and practical tools that will aid you on your own path to recover. Remember, there is always a way out.
got my word. Don't do that! About wait. Bilan mo nga ako ng Yossi. Three, go. <laughs> Anger is getting... Me. <laughs> me. Anger. My love. Mark, welcome to our counseling. Nanita. Ang mga puloy. Ito, I got to say love. Picnic is deep breathing exercise. Natagangin. Welcome. Remember? Oh no! Remember? I really want wine plugs. Wine plugs. Josh, Ima, how about you? What about you? Bad times. I know, I know, man.